Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Rohan Bijou, and today we're going to take a look at Anchor's Powercom C200 webcam, which comes at around $70. So I've been using this webcam for about a month right now as my daily driver, and I've been using it for Zoom calls to try out every tiny feature so that I can get this on to review together. So in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to talk about the specs. I'm going to talk about how to connect it to your computer, the AnchorWorks software. So I know there's a lot of ground to cover. So before we begin, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to watch more future content like this. Like this video if you found this helpful, and comment any questions or concerns, and I'll try my best to answer them. So without further ado, welcome to Techno Review. <laughs> Awesome, so the first stop is the unboxing. So the box is really nice and really well built and let's slide out the cover. Let's open the box and take a look inside. The first thing you'll see is some paperwork, then a nice black USB to USB-C cable, and then finally we have our webcam. First off, the webcam is extremely compact and it has this nice matte finish on the sides. On the back, there's a singular USB Type-C port. On the top, you can see a switch that controls the manual camera cover for some extra privacy. Let's place the webcam on top of my monitor and it's really easy to place with the inbuilt stand. And you can also tilt it in many different angles so that you can get the best shot. Awesome, so that was basically it for the unboxing. But before we get into the specs, I'm gonna talk about how to connect it to your computer and the AnchorWorks software. Awesome, so the first thing you have to do is download the AnchorWorks software, which I've linked below. It's compatible with both Mac OS and Windows OS. And after you download the AnchorWorks software and complete the setup steps, all you need to do is connect your webcam to your computer via the cable. And the AnchorWorks software helps you connect, control, and customize all of your AnchorWorks products in one spot. So on the dashboard, you will notice that your C200 webcam pops up and there are multiple customizable settings, which I'll be showing you later on. Awesome, so that's pretty much it for how to connect your webcam to your computer and the AnchorWorks software. So now let's move on to the specs. The C200 has a 2K max resolution at 30 frames per second, which can be adjusted to 360p, 720p, and 1080p. I don't know why you want to lower it less than 2K, but you still have that option. The C200 has an adjustable field of view from 65 degrees, 75 degrees, and 95 degrees. This means that you can choose how much you want to display or how much you want to fit into the frame. If you don't want to use a set 65, 75, 95 field of view, you can use a slider instead to give you more control and personalization for the field of view. There's also an anti-flicker option, which means it will remove or reduce the flicker you get from a light source in the frame. So you can actually get an example of a flicker right here. So you can see there are bars and it just keeps on flickering. So when you have it in the frame, it's gonna be a bit distracting for the viewer in a call. So if you hit this option, you can actually remove that and it's gonna make your calls even more clean and less distracting. You can also adjust the image settings on the AnchorWorks software, like the brightness, sharpness, saturation, and contrast ratio. You can also flip the screen on the software itself. The webcam has really great autofocus to give importance to mainly your face, but if you do wanna show something in front of the camera, the camera focuses on the object pretty great. Next, let's talk about the audio. The webcam has a dual mic setup that captures directional sound from the speaker. On the AnchorWork app, you can customize it to either get an omnidirection audio to get audio around your webcam, or you can keep it at a directional pickup audio to get some more direct audio. And to show you that, here's a quick mic test right now. Awesome, so this is the demo of the microphone. So this is what directional audio sounds like when it's directed at a person and it's only getting audio from me. So it sounds decent, it sounds pretty great. You probably don't hear any background noise and it's pretty nice. The webcam also has some auto noise cancellation features, but it usually takes some time to kick in. So if you do have any sound popping in in the background like music, it's gonna be heard for a couple of seconds before being reduced by the microphone. And it actually does it pretty well. So here is a quick demo right now. So here's a quick test of the auto noise cancellation. There's gonna be some music playing right now and you should be able to not hear it. It's gonna kick in a bit late, but this is the audio playing in the background and you can see it kicks in a bit late but it's still pretty good after they take the light. It's pretty nice. Awesome, so that was pretty much it for the specs and demo. So now let's move on to my experience and my thoughts about the C200. So as I mentioned in the beginning, I've been using the C200 as my primary webcam for about a month right now, and the image quality has stayed consistently amazing. Switching from a MacBook camera, the quality was immediately noticeable, and having so many options to customize my experience was truly amazing, and I played around with it to find the best setting for my personal room. The webcam does sometimes seem to struggle with low light, but if you light the frame well, you'll have some amazing video for your conference. 
The main place where the C200 shines is with the autofocus, which works super quick and is really effective. When showing objects or physical documents on camera, it's simpler than ever and it's a blast to use. The sound quality is decent, but it could be better. The auto noise cancellation kicks in pretty late and is sometimes a bit annoying because it only catches a long persisting sound. But if it was a dog barking or if it was a car honk, since it's a short, sharp sound, that's gonna be heard once. But if the car horn is persisting, the auto noise cancellation is gonna kick in and reduce the background noise, which works pretty great, but it takes some time to kick in. Another place where the C200 shines is with the price point. It comes at around $70, which is pretty nice and pretty affordable for such a webcam with all the features it provides. And I'm actually working on reviewing an Anchor conference speaker, so if you wanna watch that video, which is gonna come up, subscribe to the channel and hit notifications to get notified when that video comes up. If you're already watching and the video came up, it should be in the iCard above, so you can go check that out if you're also looking for a complimentary conference speaker. So overall, I would recommend this webcam to people who are trying to switch from their computer camera to something external and really high quality and keeping it affordable. So this kind of hits all your check boxes and it's a really great deal. So my final score I would give the C200 is an 80 out of 100 because it is amazing in so many different areas like its user experience, the 2K resolution, the feel of view, the customizability, but there are some places it needs to fix with low light, the audio for the auto noise cancellation, and there's just some minor fixes that needs to be done. But overall, just an amazing buy. So I hope you found that very helpful. I left a couple of links in the description if you're looking to buy the C200 and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to watch more future content like this. Like this video if you found this helpful and comment any questions or concerns. I'll try my best to answer them. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.